You ready? If I point the camera at you and I go like this and I go, all right, no, that's terrible. Just do something else that could be better. <laughs> no, uh-uh, no, I'm never gonna get a picture out of you. Can you try something different? That's never gonna work. We're not gonna get anywhere today. What do I get? So I'm shooting film. What if I did that to the person? They're gonna be a mess. You think they're gonna get better? They're gonna be worse, right? But what if I went, Naveen, okay, chin down. Oh my gosh, that's a ridiculously good side of you. <laughs> Holy smokes, your parents hooked you up. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. I'm getting amazing shots. How do you think he's gonna feel? A little better, but what if I did that the entire shoot? You think it's gonna last? It's gonna wear off, isn't it? It worked for two seconds, but it's gonna wear off. So as photographers, I like to say we have a bag of tricks or a, or a toolbox, or I call it a director's toolbox or whatever. One of the tools in the toolbox is positive reinforcement. We can't live without it. We've gotta amp up our people and make sure they feel cool and they feel like they're getting good stuff. But if that's the only tool in your toolbox, a lot of photographers, that's all they've got. And it's gonna wear off. And then you're gonna be in hot water. So you wanna have a bunch of things that you can do. I actually do kind of what I did with Naveen. I kind of abuse people a little bit break them down and then pump them back up. Like I have fun with them. I'll be like, man, what are you doing? You're, how am I gonna work with these nostrils? <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna be easy. You're making it tough on me today. So, I mean, we're all human. You know, we got stuff. And uh, you know, people have flaws and people tell me, uh, you know, if you see me working with somebody, it's all, I'm, I'm working on I have to capture the best image of that person. I, I, otherwise, I'm not happy. If I don't get a shebang, I'm not happy. So I, I always say this, I'm, when you work with the clientele where the client is the end, is the customer, they're paying me, you have to make them happy, right? But at the same time, my artist inside wants something. It wants a good shot of them, and, and I can't go off of what they're thinking about themselves because we all have this self-acceptance gap. We have a gap between the way we see ourselves and the way the world sees us. So this gets into my sci-photology thing, which I'm gonna get into a, a little bit. I did a TEDx talk at MIT on, the, on bridging the self-acceptance gap. So I need to make that person, you know, I, need to, make, I need, to make, need to make them feel something in front of the camera, but if they don't like the pictures or they're trying to guide me one way and I wanna be, and my artist wants to be guided another, I have to bend, 